Previously on the bill. No, no, Who's that? What's this one? Chances are she was sold in Romania. The Stasi was tipped off by phone. I was grassed up. This has got to be an inside job. Look out! Phil? No, no, it's all right, it's okay. Sorry, I must have uh, dropped off for a second. <clears throat> I didn't expect you to watch the door all night. So you're okay? Yeah. We're still in one piece, aren't we? Just... Look, um, I want to get out of here. Let's abandon the car and take the tram. Yeah. I think the Stasi might think twice about another drive-by shooting if we're in a crowd. So I'm really sorry about last night. If I hadn't tried to buy those girls from the Stasi. Well, it isn't your fault that your cover was blown. Yeah, I must have didn't I? Well, is there any way you could get near to Gilka? I did get very close. Well, at least we know he's still here in Bucharest. But for how long? Now he knows the British police are at it. Losing Gilker isn't an option. He can lead Stuart's team to Maris's brothel in the UK and he's the only one that can tell us where we can find our Miss Perpetia Barlett. Well, she could have been sold anywhere in Europe. She could be anywhere. I'm not leaving without her. I promised Andre I'd find his wife. I want to get out of here. Yeah, hang on. I'm not going to let the likes of Mustazi intimidate us either. Well, that'll be tricky, having a Ben Copper in his back pocket. Look, I know he rubbed you up the wrong way, but it doesn't mean he's bent. Listen, how many DIs do you know own a 7 Series BMW? Oh, not the car again. Yeah, listen, I just don't want him to know about the shooting last night. Well, if he knows about last night and we don't tell him, he'll assume we don't trust him. So what do you suggest? Let's find out the soccer agent's take on Bogdan. Listen, have you seen my shirt? Intelligence from the women you rescued from the lockup. No, nothing more since yesterday. Um, we know they were being held in the lockup, transported in a van to work at the brothel. Um, the pimp's name was Marius, but the girls couldn't tell us anything more about them than that. What about your assault victim? Maya has it. She, she was pretty groggy yesterday, but um, it's clear she took the beating from Marius. We we'll just stopped at St. Hughes now to see if we can give us anything else. How's Andre Balev holding up? Yeah, well, they're trying to keep him busy acting as translator, but. Um, and I wish he hadn't seen that DVD, because now he knows for sure that his wife was sold by the same gang. If he gets too much for him, cut him off. I don't want to expose him to too much. Yeah. Well, fingers crossed Phil and Sam have more like finding Petia Barlev, because frankly, sir, we don't even know if she's still in Bucharest. What's the latest on them? Well, I haven't heard anything today, but... Uh... So you don't know how yesterday's operation went now, then? Uh, well, I'm sure they'll brief us as soon as they can. Okay. You've been working on this all night? Uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, I have, sir. Did you get a view of the skyline? I don't know, buildings or railway lines or anything like that? Um, Dali si, a šta je ovo sa nevom? Dali si videla ikad ište ono što možda... Na krovo ovaj... No, just a lot of roofs and something that looked like a mosque. Okay, do you think if we got her to describe it, you could draw it? I'll try. Ja ću probat na crtu to, možda to opis just na tu mjesto. No, this is useless. Those towers definitely the minarets of a mosque, aren't they? Don't exactly give us a geographical fix, though. It could be anywhere in East London. Excuse me, we need a hand with a drunk. Yeah, see you. Right, I'm going to circulate these details around the team, see if anyone recognises it. Bit of a long shot. Yeah, it's a long shot. It's a star, isn't it? Anything from Philosam? I don't know, I think it's Phil, but the reception's really bad. Mm. Diane, how'd you get on with the hospital today? Sarah? 
What interviewing Maya, the assault victim? Did the CID get anything from her? Yeah, jibs and drabs. I pimp beat her within an inch of her life, so no wonder she was so traumatised. Really? So to interrupt, I'm picking brains about something. Yeah, sure. Well, we interviewed Maya Hodges just Oh, now. we were just discussing her. Oh, uh, right. Well, um, we're having trouble locating her brothel, um, but she managed to describe the view from the attic window. Oh, that's the new Packet Street Mosque. It's got to be. Yeah? You sure? Yeah. The building work was delayed. It caused a lot of disruption. Uh, we had a number of complaints about it. Jim, we're going to start. <laughs> Listen, um, Diane and I could whiz round that area while we're out. See if we can maybe catch sight of the van. Yeah, it'd be fantastic, yeah. We find the van, we find Marius. Peckett Street, right? Mm. Right, the entrance to the mosque is on Peckett Street. Ergo, our brothel is anywhere east of that, if Maya could see it. I'm gonna call my governor and get him to do a door-to-door -door search. Oh, are you sure that's wise? We start in the wrong street, Marius could get wind and take off. Maybe, but... Go to your Bell Loves Network provider, email me the IMEI number of a handset. So now the telephone unit can bounce the signal and we can triangulate the exact location of a mobile. <coughs> yeah, Diaz Turner. So, where you been? I've been worried sick. You well, should be. Phil and I were ambushed last night. You think the stars is behind the attack? Well, but hold on, you're okay though. Let me talk to Ben. What? Hang on, Phil wants a word. Right, let me talk to Ben. Put him on speakerphone. Yeah, all right, mate. DS Hunter. Good morning. Yeah, well, it might be where you are, my friend, but we nearly had our heads blown off last night. What happened? Well, it's a long story. Look, how well do you know this Inspector Kazaku? We've met a few times. We swap intelligence by email. What is this about exactly? Well, listen, Nastasi has a mole in the police. You think it's Bogdan? Well, Bogdan has been chasing the Stasi for, what, nine months? He hasn't pulled him in once. Well, maybe he's taking his time to build the case. He'll have to be rock solid if he's going for the man at the top. Well, Bogdan couldn't care less that he left Joanne high and dry after last night's bungled surveillance operation. Phil! Hang on. Who's Joanna? What did you say again? Who's Joanna? Oh, Joanna's a young girl that works at the Stasi strip club. Look, she saved my life last night. He tried to warn me that the Stasi had been tipped off I was a copper. OK. You want me to make an official allegation, then I am going to need some kind of proof. Yes, well, we're working on it. In other words, you don't have any yet? Well, no, not yet. Bogdan is not the easiest to get along with, I know. But if he's one thing, it's reliable. My advice is keep a low profile, let him do his job, and he will give you Radom Gilka. All right, look, we'll speak later. What did he say? He thinks I'm wrong about Bogdan. Well, that makes two of us. This way. Listen, mate, you are not going to believe this. The telephone union just got back to me. Now, Petia Barlev's mobile has just been traced to Maydell Street, East London. Looks like she's been trafficking to this country. I'm going to get out of these clothes, take a shower. Yeah, me too. So what, we meet downstairs in 15? Yeah. I feel really grubby. Cheers. You really know how to make a bloke feel special? No, I didn't mean like that. I... D.S. Nixon. Inspector Kazaku. Okay. Petra Charney. No, we'll, we'll find it. Thanks. What's up? There's been a murder. They want us on site. And what's it got to do with us? You've been linked to the body. Yeah, well, before you get started, I've got an alibi. I can only assume you're out painting the town red. How's that? Your clothes, the same as yesterday. We didn't pack very much. I've told my colleagues you can explain why your business card was tucked into the victim's underclothes. It's China. I'm sure they said Maidel Street. It's nothing more than a car park. Maybe she's in there. Try the phone. Yes. Yeah, go and check the car, see if you can see anything. 
No, battery's still alive, just click straight to the answer machine. Right, let's check out this building. Found it! I've been dumped. Nice one. Okay. Okay, find out who operates that CCTV, will you? Inspector Kazaka agreed that I would buy her from the Stasi during the operation. But the Stasi was tipped off by a phone call. Seize the Stasi's mobile, trace the number that called him at 2010, and you will find Jamal. One step at a time, this hunter. One step at a time. How was she killed? A single bullet to the head, but there are burns from a steam iron. The guys wanted to know what she had told you, I think. Excuse me. Are you okay? She was a kid, Sam. She used my mobile to call her mum. She realised Nastasi was on to me. She tried to tip me off with a look. Nastasi saw the look. That? I must attend the post-mortem. This takes priority. I cannot assist you in the search for Gugge and Petya today. A priority? Petra could end up like Joanna. We've got to move on this. I cannot be responsible for another woman dying. Phil, please. We've got to find Gilka. And we will. So why don't you exercise a warrant for Nastasi's no arrest? I proof that Gilka's there. If you search the place, you might find something. And Obrescu called in the morning. She has taken in more women after a raid on a club in Rahova. Perhaps they have met Petya Balev during the course of their ordeal. OK, we'll chase that up. Perhaps you should return now in the UK. Let us deliver Gilka to you in good time. We're not going anywhere until we find him, Inspector. Continue with interrogatory on What are you doing? Hang in the town, Red. Sam, he knows exactly what went on last night. He knows we were shot at. Phil, you're being paranoid. Please, we both are. Just try and keep calm. Sir, we found Petty Barlow's mobile this morning. Have you informed her husband yet? No, 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 not until we've got something concrete. Um, PC Noble's checking the tapes from the CCTV camera that was overlooking the waste ground where the phone was found. What about the pimp, Marius? Uh, still no sighting of him. But uh, Maya Hadjic, who's the salt victim, managed to describe the view from her window at the brothel, picked out some landmarks, so at least we've got a radius to start searching. We need Marius in custody. He'll lead us to Gilka in Romania. Uh, with respect, sir, how can you be so sure? Well, those girls you found make up half of Marius's workforce. Now you've taken them out, he'll need more. Gilka's his supplier. If we could just get hold of Marius's phone records. Anything to help Phil and Sam track him down. Well, they almost had him last night, sir. You spoken to them? What happened with the sting? Didn't go according to plan. I don't like the sound of this. Phil went in to buy some girls, but Nastasi was tipped off that he was police. The contact warned him. Nastasi managed to get away. But they're okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, they assure me they're fine. Well, they better be. Because one more whiff of trouble and they're on the next plane home, with or without Gilka. Presently. Hang on, you haven't got through all that CCTV footage already. Benjamin supplied me with a list of calls made on Petru's phone. The last was at 8 a.m. when the credit ran out. Which means it was only dumped in the last couple of hours. You're not just a pretty face, are you? Well, what was the last number dialed? Mado Gilka's cafe. Should be any second now. Marius. Obviously, no one's told him Gilka's done a bunk. Well, at least he's still in the area. Right, so we've got Petia's phone. We've got CCTV footage of Marius dumping it. We also know that he called Gilka. I mean, all this points to her being trafficked to work in his brothel. Right, the location where we recovered the mobile lies within our radius. Marius was also on foot, which means he wasn't going far. Home, brothel. All right, well, I'd better update the team in Bucharest. If I can get through. Listen, do you mind if I disappear for two minutes on it? <laughs> Sam, hey. Hey, how are you? Listen, um, there's been some developments here. Likewise. Phil's informant turned up dead this morning. Oh, what are we talking about murder? Execution. The stars is taking no chances in protecting himself and his business. Oh, look, 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 listen, if it's getting too dangerous out there, just say the word. Hey, your safety's too important. I'm going to bring you home, OK? No, we are not leaving without Petya Barlev. Well, I think she's already here. Where is my phone is? You traced her signal? But no, well, we've got um, CCTV footage of Marius dumping it. We think she's probably working in this brothel. 
We've got a rough location, but uh, it's going to take time. Right, well, unless we find Gilka first. Right, exactly. Well, we're doing our best. Phil's suspicions about Bogdan might be right. I mean, he is dragging his heels. What, you think Bogdan's working for Nastasi? I just want to play it on the safe side, okay? If you need to send us any intelligence, can you go through a woman called Irina Debrescu? She runs a refuge here in the city. I'll text you her email address. Irina Anyway, uh, uh, listen, I'll, uh, I'll speak to you later. Stuart has located Petia's mobile to the UK. CCTV confirms Marius dumped it, but they still can't find him. We need to get Gilker in custody soon. He's our link. One of us needs to go to this post more. Why's that? Make sure the contact evidence isn't mislaid. It's the least we can do for Joanna. One of us, meaning me. Oh, well, I'm not the one that Bogdan fancies the pants off. Listen, with one of us watching him, he can't contact Nastasia. And what are you going to do? Go back to the refuge. There's some new girls come in and we'll see if they know Gilga. And then what? Disappear on your own? I don't think so. On my own's best, Sam. I've nearly got you killed once already. I don't think you're heading off Spectre. on your own. Can Sam come to the PM with you? See how you do it over here. Well, the same as you do it over there. Oh, she suggested that you review the case evidence. I'm sure our budget could stretch to lunch somewhere. I know a nice place near the mortuary. But about you? Well, the Met want me to write out a statement about what happened last night. My car is this way. Call me. Clothing fibers? Picked up from Perfira's clothing, perhaps. Why don't you just arrest Nastasi now? Mm. You've got enough in your file to charge him with a list of offenses as long as you're armed. He is protected, not just police, judges too. How can you be so sure? We are all slaves to our desires, one way or another. Nastasi exploits those who surrender to them. Laura, he uses sex to protect his position. Like bribery and blackmail? Mm. Money is not the only currency here. Who you know matters more. Corruption is a way of life. Communism's parting gift. Think you could go to lunch? So how long have you been after Nastasi? Oh, nine months or more. I admire your patience. Unlike your colleague, Mr. Hunter. He's a hothead, I think. Bottom line, he's committed. And I can't fault him for that. I would really say a good egg. <laughs> well, he's a bit rough around the edges, but, yeah, it's all right. You two have a lot in common. You both have passion, but not just for the job. I have been trying to reach you. Where is Sam? She's at a post-mortem. What's up? One of the girls from the club in Rahova recognizes the man you're hunting. Radu Gilka? Yes. You sure? He's a large man in his 40s, dark hair, red cheeks, good English. Right, I need to speak to him. No, 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 it's not her. The police have taken the girl to for interview. Probably she won't be back until tonight. Right, did she say where she saw him? Uh, Gilka is staying at this hotel where she was made to work. The owner does business with this uh, Nastase. Supplies sex workers to foreign businessmen. Do you have a name for this place? Yes, Hotel Stefan in Vakarest. It's not far. If we go, we have to hurry. Have you contacted Bogdan about this? Sorry, I didn't have time. It's OK. Sam, it's me. You need to get over it. Andre, thanks so much for agreeing to act as translator for us again. Let's see. Mike's coming here. Well, we want to have a quick chat in private before we go to the hospital. This is about my wife. Well, her phone was found dumped in a car park. But, uh, CCTV footage confirms that the man threw away the phone after he used all her credit. A man? Uh, what man? The same man who assaulted Maya Hadjic. What, Marius? The brothel on well, just because he had possession of a phone, it doesn't necessarily mean he has your wife. As soon as we find anything, we'll let you know, OK? But you saw what he did to Maya. I mean, uh, he could hurt just her calm too. Down, right? I mean, this guy's an animal. Just calm down, OK? You got calm to go down. Listen, we are doing everything we can. The best thing you can do now is help us translate for Maya. OK? 
okay? It's the best way we're gonna help Patia. Stuart is Phil. We've had a possible sighting of Gilka at the Hotel Stefan in Bakaristi. That's Bakaristi. We're heading over there now to verify it's in. Would you call me when you get this message, please? So what did you say to Bogdan about where you were going? I just told him that the woman in the refuge would only speak to a female officer. Look, what is the point in us going to Hotel Stefan on our own? Well, we don't want to show our hand to Bogdan just yet, do we? Well, what do you mean? Well, if he's in on it, he's going to tip Gilka off. Let's just confirm it is Gilka before we decide what we're going to do. Yeah? Okay. But on one condition. If we have to follow Gilka, you let me handle it. There's no way. You're not doing this one on your own. We don't have any choice. Nastasi's gang know who you are. Doesn't matter. You leave this one to me. Can you stop being so overprotective? It's really boring. I don't get you sometimes. You chew my ear off about being selfish. Then the moment I show you a little bit of concern... It's not like I don't appreciate it. What are you saying? What I'm saying is I don't really... Sam, we can't pretend that last night didn't happen. No, I know, I know that. I just... Now is, is not the time. There she is. You know what, let's not talk about it anymore, anyway. But I... Oh! Um, she would hear music from the houses nearby, always in the afternoon. What kind of music? Classical music, rock music, what? Kakvu vrstu music. Spora, sa jakim basom. Slow, with a, a heavy beat. Okay. Anything else she remembers about the house, about Marius? Kan se ićeg drugog sećaš. No? Okay. Well, thank you. You did very well. Um, tell her if there's anything else she remembers. Any detail, however small, okay? Because she said there's bill called through the time. Check I, Miris. Wait, wait, wait. The smell. Toast. Uzor, Miris, sieže kruha. Dovelo bi nas doludila. Kad još smo bila toko gladne. In the morning, the, the smell of fresh bread would drive them mad because they were so hungry. Well, there can't be many bakeries in our radius. Okay, well, uh, tell her that the hospital are happy to discharge her tomorrow, but that we'll be uh, arranging a place for her at a refuge. Ne. Ne. Neću. She doesn't want to go. Neću. No, it's okay. They'll take good care of her. Neću. U redu, brinu. Neću. To smo rekla i prošli put. That's what they told her last time. Last? What do you mean? Što misliš prošli put? Prodali su me da radim u javnu kuću u Bukureštu. I onda je policija došla. And they sold her to work in this striptease bar in Bucharest, and then the police came and, and they took her to a refuge. She thought she was safe there until this woman sold her to a pimp. Radu Gilka. Radu Gulki. So, who is this woman? A quite a girl. Irina Dobrescu. No, I can't get through to either of them. We should phone Bogdan. Yeah, well, I have his number on me. Well, hold on. All right, it's a message from Phil. Okay, there's been a possible sighting of Gilka in the Vacaresti area. Hotel Stefan. Wait, 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 that, that's wrong. Hotel Stefan is Benassa area. You sure? Absolutely. Okay. What well, the signal's even worse out here. Exactly how far is this place? Nearly there. Well, can't be one of Bucharest's five-star hotels. Businessmen use it. It's convenient for the airport. No, Kazaku. Listen. Uh, Kazaku? Kazaku is Inspector Bogdan Kazaku. How's your Romanian, mate? About as bad as yours. I can help you. Posamo Robescu, Inspector Kazaku. Oh, yeah, he just is Inspector Kazakh. I'm supposed. He's out of the office. Oh, we'll try his mobile. What is that, right? Arena, is this the car park for the hotel? Arena. You set us up! Key! Get a key from us! Get a key!
Nu mișca! Pune pistolul jos! Pune pistolul jos! Cet! Cet! Stomac! E doar în mână, mă, luați la spital. Scoate-i cătușele, nu-i pune cătușele. Dă-i drumul! Atenție la cap! Să mă scai în ori. This is Ion. Ion, from Organized Crime Bureau. He's working undercover. He has spent months infiltrating Nastasia's organization oh. in order to gain a position of trust. It would have been very useful for us. Very useful. So I'm sorry. Man. It seems you are not very good at spotting moles, Mr. Hunter. Please, get in the car. Now. We've got three bakeries in the area that we're talking about. Two are commercial premises, one's a local supplier. Here, here, and here. Let's take a drive. Okay, so just past the mosque back there. Uh, which way's the bakery from here? Just round the corner. Okay. Okay, you see that blue van? Look, that's the same index. Right. What's that music, Reggae? Right? Like reggae, actually. Do you know it originated in the 60s? It was like dance remixes. Of... Sorry, it was just a bit of a passion of mine. Right, look, it's got to be that house with the red door. No, the window's facing back towards the mosque. Okay, right, call for backup. We know you've been working in league with Radu Gilka. You supply him with women from your refuge. Our colleagues in London ran your name through our computer. Nothing for Dabreski. Although, Irina Rayu was one of two prostitutes believed to be run by a man called Gilka in 96. It's quite a good likeness. When I returned, I changed to my mother's name. Still, I had no job, no money. I was pulled back to the old ones selling sex. You get older, you're not so pretty. Men don't own company, they want a punch bag. Nastase made me an offer. He paid for the rent on the apartment, bribed police to turn a blind eye. I'll be wanting names. So Nastasi sets up the refuge. The girls are an expensive investment. The refuge allows him to keep an eye on them and keep his money if they escape. Tell us where Gilka is. Go ahead, punish me. What you can do is nothing compared to Gilka or Nastase. After everything you've been through, you still betray those women. You sit and you judge like you know. These girls come from nothing. You think you know poor? Poor is no food, no clothes. Home is a shelter with no windows or doors, just a shell. What kind of life is that? At least when they pay off their debt, they start over in a new country, they touch their dreams. You actually believe your own lie. Hi, uh, seen this girl? No. Hi, uh, Petia. Do you know Petia? I'm arresting you for the assault of Maya Hadjik of the trafficking for sexual exploitation. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned, something which you later rely on in court. You know anything you do say may be taken in evidence. Petia's not here. What? And none of them recognise a photograph either. Right, how much custody time we got on the clock? OK, look, we'll do our best. Stuart reckons Marius has got her at his place. Only no one knows where that is. Well, is that maybe Gilka? Well, they've just arrested Marius, which gives us another 36 hours to locate him. Gilka will have doubtless learned of Dobrescu's arrest and gone to ground. Look, we can interview Nastasi on the strength of her statement. Even if we establish that he finds the refuge, what does it prove? The undercover officer. He's a witness. He was Joanna's chaperone. He took the ladies in the van to the marketplace. He's seen what Nastasi has done. Nastasi is clever. Prostituting his girls never takes place at the club. Our only hope was to catch him red-handed, but thank to you, Jan's cover, it's blown. Months of work, it's gone. Look, I said I was sorry. 
I will arrange for someone to drop you off at the airport. You're sending us home? We'll contact you once we have Gilka in our custody. No, no, without Gilka, we can't locate Petia. Her life's in danger. I'm just because of the criminalistica. What's this? Are these the fibers from under Joanna's nails? 100% camel colored cashmere hair. Nastasi was wearing a camel hair coat the night Joanna was murdered. We'll match these to the coat and we can do him for murder. We'll nick him and he might give up Gilka. You could identify the coat if we search his house. Yeah, it was a red lining and it was tailored in Savile Row. Miku, stay cool, keep us like a pebuteria. You will wait in the car until I call you. You sit tight, you don't move. Understand? How long have you known Radu Gilka? Maybe he's from the same village as you in Romania. Don't know who you're talking about. We have evidence that he trafficked the women that you exploited in your brothel. We also know that he owned the house in Canvey Road that you rented and used to imprison the women when they weren't working. For the benefit of the tape, I'm showing Mr. Albersell exhibit ST1. Set of keys. Now the first key opens the front door to the brothel. The second, the house owned by Gilka. Where's the third one for? I forget. Well, let me jog your memory. This is the key to your place. And Petty is there, isn't she? I have no place. I sleep at the brothel. No, you don't. Because we spoke to some of the women. They said you live somewhere else. And I don't know any Pettier. For the benefit of the tape, I'm now showing Mr. Albersell a photograph of Petty Barlev. She's a beautiful woman, don't you think? You must have paid a lot for her. What, new to prostitution, healthy, no drug addiction, no sexually transmitted infections. Only fair you take your turn first, right? I've never met her before in my life. <laughs> now showing Marius Albersell exhibits FR 29 through 31. Remember Maya Hadjic? Because you assaulted her so badly, they had to remove her spleen. Look at the photographs! Is that all women are to you, Marius? Pieces of meat. I want my phone call now. Why don't you want us to find Petty and Marius? What have you done to her? Who? I want my phone call. I am entitled. You can't withhold it forever. If we let him have his phone call and tip off someone in Romania and we'll lose Petty if we even get a chance to trace the call. So now what? Oh, I don't know. I can apply to the supers at Keep Lincoln in a car, though, but all. We could just play dirty. Use Andre, set him up. In a car, don't move. <laughs> 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 Zero seven eight three one four zero two six nine nine. What's his name? Vasily Noika. Criminal damage, Sarge. Dave Simmons. Broke a shop window in Stanford Parade. 
Yes, hello, this is Detective Sergeant Turner, Sunhill Police. Can I confirm that I'm speaking to a Mr. Noika? Yeah, I'll have Mr. Marius Albersell in our custody and he'd like to speak to you. <clears throat> Vasily, Starabo. Idiu moistan, tamo je jedna žena. Reši je se. Da. Sluši, slušaj, slušaj. Broj deset. Razbi prozo. Ne, ne, ne. E, Vasily. Baci mobitel posle ovog, da? Da. Zavole me. Da, staravo. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, mate. Get our number? Yeah. Tracy. Yeah, call the telephone unit, ping that number, get a location, okay? What else? Well, he told him to break in. Ground floor number 10. Flat Street? Well, it didn't say so, but it sounded like the only way in was via uh, a builder's yard next door. Okay. And please do something. He told him to get rid of her. Look after me. Find me another one. Did it work? Uh, well, Marius, thank you. Marius mentioned a uh, ground floor flat next to a builder's yard, number 10. I know it's not much, but it's something to go on. Good, because I wouldn't bank on any help from Bucharest if I were you. Why, what's happened? Phil and Sam got hold of Gilka. Only for one of their local police to shoot him in the stomach. Thank you. Is this the code Nastasia wore last night on here selling you the goods? Yeah, that's it. Savile Row's finest. Please, Inspector, can we talk to Gilka? Okay, you've got 30 seconds. Where's the Nastasia be seen with? Put in that, you better support. We know you've been trafficking women to a man called Marius Albacel. Where does he live? I have no idea. And if you want to stay here and face charges for conspiracy to murder, that's up to you. I'm a British citizen. Well, that depends if we object to the Romanian request to try you for crimes committed in this country. Polish torture people. I have my human rights. So give us Marius Albacel's address. <sighs> I know you won't hand me over anyway. You make it really worth our while. Information that'll earn you a letter to the judge. I know all my cousin's business. And Italy, France, Germany are... You'll turn informer. Yes, I help you. You help me. Everybody wants. Tell us where he lives. Yeah, Diaz Teller. It's Phil. Gilka Sang. Marius lives at number 10 Newley Street Lane. It's the ground floor flat. You beauty. Thanks, mate. Right. Gilka just gave up Marius' address. Yeah, I need Cat to send a patrol car to 10 Newley Street Lane, ASAP. Listen, you might send an ambulance too. Well, I just thought you'd like to know that a team arrested Radu Gilka in Romania. And he gave him your address. Really? Mm. 10 Newley Street Lane, ground floor flat. Hey, wait. I want to make a statement about Gulka. When you step this way. Last night, I took advantage. You did what? Come on, let's not pretend that there's not an atmosphere between us. Well, I, I hope that isn't my fault. No. Last night, you were scared. I mean, we were both scared. It was a mad night. Yeah, but you don't need to apologise. It wasn't just your decision, you know. So you wanted to? In a one night stand sort of way or in another sort of way? Don't do one night stands. Okay. What sort of way then? You 
Eugene, you need to be given a desk job. Inspector, what a nice surprise. I wanted to personally make sure that you got on the plane. <laughs> your faces, such a picture. Let me load your cases. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Do I have to? Get in. Okay, listen, take her through to the soft interview room, will you? Thank you. Yeah, uniform found a lot in the bathroom. The yeah, just was supposed to come out, and we had to go down to the hospital for a few hours. No one could get near her. How is she? Uh, I don't know. She let the hospital take a few samples eventually, but um, uh, she's totally disconnected from the world around her. Oh, no wonder. Not after what she's been through. Mm. What a day. Mm. Night. Listen, thank you for all the good work. No problem. You know what I was thinking? Um, get a drink. I'm going to buy you dinner instead. I don't really think I'm your type. Oh, no, you're just my type, believe me. <laughs> well, then, maybe you're not mine. <laughs> All right. Well, good work today. Let me see her. I'm Come sorry, on, sir. please, please, you can't stop me. Only Pitt is here in the station. I'll take him through. Follow me. I'll just wait a second, yeah. I've got Andre here. Pitt, yeah. <laughs> Hey. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You will. You will. You will. Yes. Yes. All right, look, we'll give you some privacy, okay? Sam. Hi. Travel expenses, before I forget. So, um, oh, we missed you around here. It was quiet without you. Yeah. Thanks. So, how was Bucharest when you weren't being shot at? I took a lot of assumptions with me and um, I found it wasn't what I thought it was at all. How was your date? Yeah, not my type. Um, so everyone, uh, listen, congratulations on a fantastic result. Um, my vote is that we all go out for a few beers, pizza tonight, my shout. I'm Bush, mate. Go get early night. Me too. Um, pile of laundry. Benny! Sorry, I've got plans tonight. Oh, right. Well, maybe our paths will cross again. Thanks. See you around. How were Andre and Petty? Well, put it this way. It wasn't the dream reunion Andre was expecting. At least he's got his wife back. Yeah, but she's broken. She's going to have to take this one step at a time. Sounds like good advice. So what was that supposed to mean? It means I don't think we should rush into anything. Now nah, we can dip our toe in the water occasionally. <laughs> Look, I really like you as a friend. Right, we know where this one's going, don't we? No, it isn't a no. It's not a yes either. I just need time to get used to the idea. See you tomorrow, then. I'll see you tomorrow.
time on the bill. Get around here, you donut! Quiet! Like it. If I'm so sad, why don't you just shoot me out of the way? I said move! Make me! 